So the uh, purported winner of the Kentucky Derby, the horse Medina Spirit, failed a drug test and now they're reviewing, they're having, they're testing another uh, sample that they took of the horse's urine to see if that one also comes back dirty. Um, the trainer for this horse is a guy named Bob Baffert, mm -hmm. who is renowned within the horse racing industry. He's also renowned for having his horses fail drug tests ah. multiple times. 29 times that we know of over the course of his career. I think it's like five times in the last year alone. So this guy repeatedly cheats. I have uh -huh. to say, this industry, though, is so incredibly dirty. Uh -huh. um, in this New York Times article, they talk about how they will give the horses literally anything to give them an edge. They say trainers experiment with anything that may give their horses an edge, including chemicals that bulk up pigs and cattle before slaughter, cobra venom, Viagra, blood doping agents, stimulants, and cancer drugs. Detection is difficult as laboratories scramble to keep up. It reminds me a lot mm -hmm. of the um, cycling industry mm -hmm. where basically everyone is cheating and it's just a matter of who, 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 get caught, who right? gets caught and who's able to skirt the regulators. Baffert, even though he's been caught numerous times, there's rarely much of a penalty, if at all. There's like a light I was slap say, on how, the wrist. How are you, if you've been caught 29 times, how are you even still allowed to compete? That's yeah, crazy. they'll just give him like a little bit of a fine, a little slap on the wrist. He's still trying to argue that this horse, Medina Spirit, mm -hmm. should compete in the Preakness, which is the next of the, right. the Triple Crown. Mm -hmm. Um, and so he went on with Fox and Friends and said that what's really going on here is not that he cheated, but that he's being unfairly canceled. Let's take a listen. I know when Churchill Downs came out with that statement, that was pretty harsh. And um, I think they had to just, you know, it, it's, you know, with all the noise going out, out, you know, we live in a different world now. This this America is different. And uh, th this, it was like a cancel culture kind of a, a thing. So they're reviewing it. Cancel culture. And of course, they didn't push back on that yeah. like ridiculous assertion. It's just sad that you think you can just say the words cancel culture right. and everyone's brains will turn off and be like, this is unfair. Well, How knew, could they? He knows his audience, right? He knows exactly. First of all, you look like a jackass wearing sunglasses on TV. Yeah. Number one. Uh, number <laughs> so two, even starting I on actually hair. thought Trump had a hilarious take <laughs> on this. Um, in which he released a statement calling Medina, Medina Spirit a junkie. And he's like, what's going on in America? Even our horse is a junkie. Like the horse, like, like it's the horse's fault. It's not fault. the horse's fault. Oh my God. The horse isn't the junkie. This guy is. Oh, look, there's a, I don't know anything really about this. I do think it's extraordinarily telling that he would go on Fox and he thinks he can say cancel culture and then people will be like, yeah, it's cancel culture. It's like, what, was Lance Armstrong canceled? I mean, I guess in a way. Right. I, mean, I mean, it's not, not really the same thing. You know, I mean, if anything, Lance canceled people who said he was cheating. Yes. So it's like, well, who that's was true. the, who, fired, who shot first, right? That's so like, true. that's the whole question. Well, as well, and here's the, like, first of all, as I've said a million times, I freaking yeah. hate the term cancel culture. Yes. But also when idiots like this, who clearly is just trying to distract from his own record of repeatedly cheating in his industry, use throw the term around, it cheapens the fact that there is actually a real issue yeah. around people being judged, shamed, fired, et cetera, for things that, you know, weren't even wrong to right. begin with, or there's something that you, you know, you should be able to forgive. They shouldn't have their life entirely ruined over it. Like that is a real thing that's happening as a serious conversation. When this idiot throws it around, then it makes it all meaningless and gives ammunition to the people who would say, this isn't a real thing. It's just a talking point mm -hmm. used by the right to try to erase any of their sins. And it is often used very conveniently by the right. And they ignore examples that don't fit their ideological agenda. Look, the horse racing industry is so incredible incredibly dirty and that's really part of the problem here is like these four horses are treated so shabbily the the particular drug that this horse um, tested positive for it's basically an anti-inflammatory so what they do is when the horse oh, is so injured hard, right. they give them these drugs so that they essentially feel no pain and race and run harder than they really should putting additional stress on the injury and potentially really crippling ultimately the horse. So it's incredibly inhumane. And um, because there have been very few, little, very little in the way of punishment or consequences, it just continues. And they roll the dice like this guy rolls the dice, thinking he can 
get away with it, that they won't get, a, they won't catch him this time because oftentimes they don't catch him, and even when they do, oftentimes there's next to no penalty. Right. Well, it's not cancel culture. Indeed. Like All right, more rising for you after this. <laughs> 